All right, so as you read in the title, I purchased an iPad Pro. Now, before I get into my thoughts about the iPad Pro as a device for artists, my experience with it, um, I just want to ask a quick question if there's any iPad experts out there. Right now, I'm just checking out the screen recorder that comes with the device in iMac, but I'm very happy with it. The only thing I wanted extra was the crosshair. It doesn't record a crosshair or add it, so you can't really see exactly where I am at all times, what I'm doing and stuff. So if you know an application that I can install to record my drawing process and add a crosshair or record a crosshair, please let me know in the comment section. I will highly appreciate it. Right, so yeah, I purchased an iPad Pro just after Christmas 2020. Now, the reason I purchased it was for uh, a solution to a problem that I was having. And my problem was I was getting very fed up of my working environment. I was stuck in my office all day, every day for all these years. And I got very sick and tired of being between the same four walls, same chair, same desk, hunched over my Wacom Cintiq. I mean, I love my Wacom Cintiq, but I was losing motivation. I was losing energy. I was getting depressed from being stuck in here. I'm not a guy that likes routines. So I always wanted some mobility. Now I've been checking out all the brands, all the devices, and none of them, even the Wacom devices, you know, none of them were, they didn't really have that thing that I was looking for. And um, I always had my eyes set on the Apple iPad Pro. And this is coming from a guy who's an Android guy. I'm not an Apple fan, I'm an Android dude. And I know that Apple produces quality products. So I wanted to invest some money in it. Um, the other thing is I have I have zero experience with the iPad Pro, so I don't know if it's as good as everyone makes it out to be. Does it feel the same? You know, anything? Can I get comfortable with it coming from a Wacom Cintiq tablet as well? And that that was a scary part because it is expensive. And I went to a bunch of stores and none of them would let me check it out or test it out and stuff like that with the pens. The pen, like you got you got to be able to test the pen out. And then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. And then worst case scenario, I could just put it online and sell it and get as much money back as possible. So I went back home and I opened it up and just like every guy when they get a new shiny toy we get all excited and they charge you extra for the pen by the way and extra for a case and the case was expensive I mean come on for a piece of leather that goes around it I didn't buy that I just bought some cheap good looking case online for five dollars done the job I got it out and my first experience with it was not a good one I didn't like the feeling of drawing on glass. I, I couldn't get comfortable with it. I, I didn't like it, especially coming from a Wacom background to this. It was a, well, it was like a, a culture shock, you know, kind of thing. And I was like, man, I just wasted a lot of money, you know, because there's no way I gave it a chance. I, there's no way I was going to get used to it. So I made a little scribble, a little doodle, and I put it on Instagram. I told everyone, hey, I just got an iPad Pro, and these are my thoughts about the glass. And everyone was recommending me a company called Paperlike. Yeah, and they make these screen protectors that you put it on, it has this textured surface. And I was like, okay, well, I spent a lot of money on this iPad so far, I might as well throw some money at these guys. And uh, this was during the quarantine, um, in, well, where, where I was, we were in quarantine, so the post offices were a bit jammed up. So it came, I ordered it, and it, it arrived, uh, I think, at the end of January, so for just over a month. I must have spent maximum 20 minutes on the iPad. I had zero attention span for it. And... Um, I put it on and I have to say it's a beautiful product, that screen protector. It has a lovely textured surface. It does leave marks, I won't lie. Every time you scrape it across the texture, it does eat away and leave scratch marks, which I don't really see it when I turn it on and all the light blares through. I don't really see it, it doesn't bother me, but when you turn it off, you do see it. Now have in mind, I purchased it, the tablet, just for drawing and painting. I don't want it for playing games. I don't want it for surfing on the web or watching Netflix, just simply drawing to get me out of my room. But I won't say it feels like paper, it feels kind of like paper. Maybe that's why they call it paper-like. Uh, I don't know about any other brands, but I really like their brand. Uh, I'm not affiliated with anything I'm saying in this video, by the way, just throwing it out there. Um, so yeah, so now it feels nice. Okay, so the next step was the application. Now, like everybody, monkey see, monkey do, everyone's using Procreate, let's download Procreate. So I purchased Procreate. I also downloaded other applications because I like to test out everything. I don't like to follow what everybody does. I need to make sure that that is the one. It's been in the market for a while now, so they've updated it so many times. It's the closest thing to a desktop application on Windows and Mac. It's the closest thing. It has everything you need, nearly everything you need. Um, whereas the other applications were not really there. The quality, the brush engines and everything were not really there. And then there was this, another product, another application called Adobe Fresco. Now. This is the bit where I was having a little bit of a weird situation. Like the, the with Procreate, I didn't like the sketching tools, the default pencils. And I know there's people out there who absolutely love them and they're good for them. 
But for me, I, I needed a pencil that really simulates a traditional pencil. I like my 2B, my 4B soft pencil, the texture, everything. I want it to look, feel, react like a pencil. And unfortunately for me, I, I didn't get that feeling with those pencils and I was trying hard to get used to them. But on Adobe Fresco, which is a product by Adobe or Adobe, how you pronounce it. Now, the brush engine on there is actually phenomenal. It's that, in my opinion, is the best brush engine on the App Store. It's actually better than Procreate, in my opinion. It's buttery smooth. I mean, it's Adobe, right? It's the closest thing to Photoshop, but half the tools and features are locked. To unlock them, you can't pay a one-time fee. You have to pay subscription, monthly or yearly, and there was no way I was gonna pay subscription for an, an Apple application, and uh, which was a bummer because it's actually really, really good. It's fairly new. It needs a billion updates, which I'm sure they're gonna do. So I was going back and forth, trying to get used to like the custom, the, the default pencils. And then I saw this girl who I follow, she follows me, we're good friends on Instagram, and she's a phenomenal person, great person, great artist. Her name is Anna Maria. Her account is made by Dinky Jar. Great artist, by the way, go check her out. And I saw she posted a little video with like these little sneak peeks of her drawing and painting on the iPad. And I was like, okay, let's have a look what she's doing. And the way she was holding the pen was very similar to the way I hold it. And the techniques, the way she was handling that pen was very close to the way I do it as well. I was like, huh, okay, let's see how the pen is reacting with the tools she's using and everything. And it was doing exactly what I wanted. So I had to reach out and I said, hey, I just saw your post, great image and everything, great artwork. Are those the default pencils or are they custom made ones? And she goes to me, no, these are custom brushes made by another artist on Instagram called Jing Sketch. And uh, she was like, his pencils and brushes and everything, they're brilliant, they're fantastic, go check him out. I was like, okay, I throw money at the iPad guys, I throw the money at my paper light guys, and now I'm gonna throw some money at this guy as well. So I went and bought his whole collection. He had his collection of tools like pencils, paint brushes, airbrushes, smudge tools, whatever you can think of. And all I have to say is God bless that girl for recommending me this guy because this guy knows what he's doing. He knows how to make. If I was Procreate, I would buy the copyrights for all his custom made pencils and put them as default. They are unbelievable. Anyways, so there was like a bunch of pencils. I chose one of my favorite ones and now I can finally draw. It feels nice and now I can draw with a pencil that reacts the way I want it to react. So. I've been spending the past bunch of months just drawing and drawing because I've got to get used to this tablet. It's got a different workflow and I'm using fingers now and stuff. And uh, now I'm, I can say that I'm finally 100% comfortable with it. I actually feel like I could draw better on it than I do my Cintiq. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm holding it like a sketch pad. I'm not sure. At first I was thinking 12.9 inches. I mean, let's say 13 inches. When I'm used to like my 24 and my 27 inch screen, uh, I thought it might be too small, but don't forget the Wacom Cintiqs, they, they lean against the stand on your desk, yeah? Whereas the iPad, well, some people also put the iPad on the table or on a stand, but I hold it like a sketch pad. So when I'm holding it, or it's on my lap, you know, it's, it's actually closer to my face, so it's not so, it doesn't look like a 13 inch screen, it looks bigger. And I don't know why, I feel like I've got more control on it, and it feels more natural, just like I'm in a sketch pad. And, uh, and now I can say I can finally get out of this office. I mean, I'll come back to my Wacom Cintiq when I need to do some stuff on the PC, uh, like my courses and stuff like that. But um, now I'm like, I'm laying down on the couch like a bum, watching Netflix whilst I'm drawing. I'm outside in the garden by the pool, the little cocktail and stuff. I'm down in the cafe, the park, there's a nice shade under a tree on a bench. I'm, I'm moving around, so I've got energy, I've got motivation, I'm enjoying it again like I used to. Um, the other day I went to see my mum and dad for lunch. I took it with me. After lunch, I just you know in the garden there, drawing and stuff. It was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. Uh, you also get a lot of attention, by the way. When you're out in the cafe and they're seeing you drawing, out of curiosity, they're going to lean over and see what you're doing, right? And they're like, oh, you can get a lot of attention, by the way. Try it out. It's <laughs> really, really cool. Anyways, uh, so besides that, my final thoughts is that this Apple device is actually a very well created device. It's perfect for any artist of all levels. You can create amazing artwork for your social medias. You can create professional work for clients. You can create your own comic books, graphic novels. I even purchased an application called CaliPeg. I'm not sure if you heard of it. It's a 2D traditional style hand-drawn character animation all in one application. Uh, so if you're a hand-drawn animator, you're gonna love Calipeg. I mean, I just I purchased it the other day. Uh, I had like there's a trial and I 
I actually bought it now and I, I'm addicted to it. It's, it's actually brilliant. I might come back and do a little demo. You can also stream with the iPad. I saw some people streaming with it, so maybe I can try that on YouTube as well. You know, put a camera so you can see me and say hello and everything. We can hang out and chat and I could like demonstrate and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I highly recommend it. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I'm not trying to sell it. But if you actually are thinking about getting it, and this is coming from a guy who's not even an Apple fan, guys. I'm an Android guy, right? And I'm highly recommending it, all right? For any artist who's thinking about it, go for it. But if you're anything like me, get the screen protector with the texture on it. I'm not sure if there's any other brands which are better or not. I'm not sure. But I'm very happy with the Paperlike. Um, and if, you're, if, you, if you like the default pencils, go for it. For me, it wasn't what I wanted. I highly recommend this guy called Jing Sketch, just like Anna Maria did. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. So anyways, guys, anywho, I'm Paris Christou. It's good to see you again. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.